Hi guys, I was surfing through some of Lidmotor's old videos and spotted on one of them he used the coil from the motor from the fan of a microwave oven and I thought I got one of them tucked away somewhere so I'm going to disassemble this to get the coil off it and see if I can do something useful with it. He made a very simple one transistor circuit with it so I'll see if I can do something similar. First thing we'll need to do is take it apart. It looks like the fan just pulls off, so that's a good start. Okay, so the next question is how easy is it to disassemble the core? Sometimes they're easy, and sometimes they're not. I've no doubt lots of people will not want me to take it apart at all and just use it as it is. Because that's got a lovely free bearing in it. But I should take it apart. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me what that's made of. It's obviously ferrous of some sort, because the magnet sticks to it, but it's not actually magnetic itself. And as I say, we've got some nice bearings there, so that should be useful for some other project. So, how do we get this apart without damaging the coil? I could saw it, or I could see if it peels apart. That's some pretty tough looking copper welded round it. Right, I've cut through there. I'm leaving it levering it up very carefully so I don't accidentally scrape the coil. But that's come out nicely. It really is nice soft copper. It looks like these Metal plates that make up the core are going to bend out quite nicely as well. Yeah, it looks to me like that's going to come apart quite nicely. Just do them one at a time, I think. So it's grabbing three. knife blade or something to push in there to loosen it up. Wow, that's lovely, isn't it? That must be the easiest coil disassembly I've done. So there we are. One nice coil, looks like it's got a centre tap, and two outside taps, exactly a slid motor described. So now we've got to do something with it. There we go, all assembled. The coil from the motor, from the fan, from the 
microwave oven, LED, uh, 2N2222 transistor, I've got a 33 ohm resistor there, on off switch, uh, one and a half volt battery, well it's slightly less than one and a half volts, it's one of those rechargeable batteries, and that's from Lid Motors light multiplier circuit. He did this back in 2009, so it gives you an idea of where I've been surfing the web, or the YouTube, looking for circuit diagrams. Um, Lidmotor does quite a bit more with this, rather than stop at this point. He has a spinning neodymium magnet, or at least the magnet is spun by this coil, and then that neodymium magnet spinning induces a magnetic field in another coil that he's got next to it and that coil lights up another three LEDs. So he's demonstrating this coil spinning a magnet and that inducing magnetic field in another coil and that's lighting another set of lights. Anyway, I've stopped at this point for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have a nice neodymium magnet that I can spin. I've got neodymium magnets but not the right sort. And two, I found an interesting thing with this circuit anyway. Interesting to me, not interesting to people who know all about these and know how they work. But I got to this point, switched it on, nothing happens. Got my neodymium magnet that I've taken out of a hard drive. Gave it a little boost. That's enough magnetic field to start the coil resonating. The coils resonating cause the LED to light. And I don't need that magnet anymore. I can put that away. And that'll stay running. And I just find that interesting. If it was set up slightly different, it wouldn't need the magnet to boost it to begin with. but. In this case, it doesn't work. Flash the magnet over it to give it a bit of a boost, and away we go. And I like that. And that's as far as I'm going to go today anyway. So, a big thanks to Lid Motor. I love his videos. I watch them all the time. Him, Slider2732, and there's a whole host of them who all do similar things. And that's it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed it.